Hey, Super Scoop Kid here. Today I wanted to tell you about my putter. So this is my normal putter, my uh, Lynx HE2. This is the men's version. Generally, it's really hard to find the men's version now because the uh, women's version, they stopped making it. Uh, like, they only stopped making the women's one like six months ago. This one they stopped making like a year or two ago. So this one right here is two years old. <clears throat> well, actually, I've only had it for a year, but on the price tag it says 2008. Um, won't focus. That's really nice. It's got like a stainless steel sole on the bottom. Um, nice and shiny. With uh, it's like here's what it looks like on the top when you're putting. No alignments, which isn't great, but the little red things sort of look like alignment. So that's pretty good. Um. The grip on this thing is really nice. It's a jumbo grip, and it's really like a so it's sort of like it's stuffed, like it sort of squishy, sort of. But like it's super tacky, and it's nice. Got a good feel to it, and uh, I think that's probably my favorite part about this putter. Like I've used like I've tried out some like Odyssey's, and it works basically the same as an Odyssey. Um, Except that one's only like 20 bucks. Then here's my uh, other putter, which I just found in the basement a few days ago. Well, I knew it was there, but I just started trying it out uh, a few days ago. It's the uh, uh, Camp Bell. Don't know if you've ever heard of it before, but like, um, it's a really nice putter. It's black and it's sort of like a matte finish. And then it's got the little putter alignment, which I really like on it. So, it's good. Um, and the shaft is a true tempo on this one. I don't know what it is on the other one. And the grip is just a uh, golf pride. Uh, no idea what brand type. What type it is, but like it's got a uh, flat at the top, you know, and it gets wider. So it's not quite a jumbo grip, but it's bigger than a normal grip, you know. It's bigger than a... I mean, it's slightly wider than a true velvet, I mean, a uh, tour velvet at the top. So, um... They're, they work about the same, both of them, but, uh... I generally use this one because since it weighs more, the, uh... <coughs> the swing has better tempo to it, I find. So, that's nice. So it sort of does most of it for you with this one. But then with this one, it's uh, more sort of a floppy when you, you know, like, you can't keep it straight is sort of what I'm trying to say. So, uh, they're both great putters, but I mean, a blade is probably better for a beginner, I would say. But then, like, if you want something with more balance, like, say you're too shaky when you putt or something like that, I'd go and get, like, a mallet putter. Cause I really like the extra weight to it, which is nice. Um, this one has a really nice finish to it. It's, like, really nice. They've also used some uh, Blade Odyssey putters. It relates pretty well, I'd say. Because mainly I've tried Odyssey putters. I've never tried a Scotty Cameron or anything like that. But, I mean, both of these relate pretty well to a uh, Odyssey putter. So this one has like a staged uh, one, sort of like a normal shaft. And this one just tapers without the little, uh, I have no idea what you call it, the little stage is I'm going to call it, where it sort of changes. Oh yeah, one thing about this putter though, it's hard to get the uh, stickers off of the price tag like I've tried and it just doesn't work. I was trying last night really hard <laughs> and it wouldn't come off. Okay, so um, yeah, that's about it for now. Bye.